I just went on the craziest win streak in solo ranked. These are the Unreal lobbies and every fight is super sweaty. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be throwing you guys some tips here and there and also breaking down some fights. Now real quick, before we hop into it, I just wanna say, you know, you're looking pretty cracked today, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. This first fight was literally so close. It was going on for forever. And at the end here, I literally had nothing. Yeah, it was a close fight, but I had just gotten on, so you know, we'll take the win. The next fight though was way cleaner. The way I kept the pressure on at the end here was crucial to me winning the fight. Notice how I'm shooting the brick builds before pickaxing it. That helps it so that you only have to pickaxe the build once to break it. It makes the pressure so much more intense. And the last brick build was one shot because he had edited it and reset it and that makes brick builds one shot. Really good to know for pressuring. Also here I get this guy really weak and he gets stuck in my cone. Because I have a health advantage I just get under him and spray through the floor and that drops him in my box. When they're coned they always fall through the floor. I was starting to feel myself at this point and you're gonna see it in this clip. In this fight, I use one of the most crucial tricks you need to know in box fights. At this point, the fight's pretty even, and you can see I'm starting to walk up to his wall. What are you doing there, Jivin? What if he makes a right hand peek and shoots you? Well, as soon as he edits the brick wall, I'm able to shoot it and take it back before he can even think. This only works if the brick wall wasn't fully built before he made the edit, and it also works with metal. He gets off to the side, so I hug my peek entirely, and his wall is one shot again because he just reset it. So I take it back and then take his cone and finish the fight. I ended the fight a little rough, but that tip is key. At this point in the game, I am actually in full on flow state. Got a big health advantage on this guy, but he kept on maneuvering out of the box right as I was about to finish it over and over until right here. I almost choked this. This is the part of the game where most people will be like, three people left in the lobby, let me just W key. But I guarantee myself a win every single time by not doing that. Basically what I do is I get off to one side of the zone so I'm not in the middle. I shoot them a little bit here and there, but I wait for them to fully start fighting. And then I just third party, it's pretty simple. Some of the other games were more stacked, but this one was simple, I just didn't put myself in the middle. I'm not gonna lie though, this 1v1 for the win was a bit sweaty. I started this game at 3,880th place, and with a 10 kill win, I went up just about a thousand places. That was all the motivation I needed, I was ready to go on a win streak right away. With off spawn this season and no siphon, I've been having a bit of trouble surviving consistently, but today I played a lot slower and really picked my fights carefully. I dipped out of this fight simply because I didn't have a pump shotgun. There was a third party that came and distracted the guy I was fighting, so I just ran out of there. Skip ahead way later in the game, and I'm chasing this guy into Slappy, but that's when I realized somebody else is chasing me, so I can't keep chasing that one guy or we're gonna get third partied. So instead, I turn around and fight the guy chasing me. At this point, I hear a third party rolling up, so I pause, shield keg, take it slow. But then this guy just bases right above me. When they're sitting on a cone right above your floor, you can just simply spray out the cone and replace it with a ramp, and they'll fall in your box. Later on, I did the sneaky sneak, got a big fry. And this is just a free kill at this point. All I gotta do is the ODM exploit where you hit their wall, and as soon as you hit it, you pull out your shotgun, and then shoot. Here's another box fight situation against a sweat, and I'm doing that trick that I talked about earlier, but this time it's on metal.
At this point in the game, I know there's a good player in my lobby named Aked, so I play positioning and it guarantees me the win. I rotate all the way to the dead side of zone and just third party from across the map with the pulse rifle. I keep on staying ahead of my rotates, and that's when, you know how I said it was a free win? And this happened. That was almost the craziest play, but I managed to get out. And then here's the moment me versus Aked. I didn't get his mats and I didn't realize I'm actually running a little bit short on mats here, which made this final 1v1 a little bit tricky, but I think I played it pretty well. We went from 2,900th place to 2,444th. Hopping straight into the next game, I fought the biggest rat ever off spawn. I just kept the pressure on, ODM'd here and there. Eventually, I got him stuck in some builds and got the kill. Then I noticed some people fighting in the storm on edge of zone. If there's one thing you should know about this season is third parties are way overpowered because of no siphon. So I went over there and got a free kill. Skip ahead a bit, this was just like the craziest prediction. I don't even know how I saw in the future like this. But to start the next fight, I got bodied. I'm just trying to keep space, keep two builds between me and the enemy because if I only have one build in between me and him, the bullets are gonna bleed through. I eventually get the slurp juice off here and I'm just waiting for myself to get healthy again. And finally, the fight is even again and I instantly predict him perfectly. So this guy was just psychoing me like crazy, right? So when I place a wood floor here, that is just temptation at its finest. I knew he was gonna spray right through it and try to jump in my box. That's why I walked around this corner and got a free right hand peek but I only did 42 damage. Luckily, I still got the kill because he misfired his pump shot and I was able to just edit on him for free. So at this point, I ended up rotating the loot island. I was gonna fight it until I realized there were literally six players here. So I just decided to dip out of there, farm up some mats and take an easier fight. Now, let me just tell you, when I was looking for an easier fight, this is not the fight I was expecting. Immediately, I was at a health disadvantage, so this guy's obviously going to be pressuring forward like crazy, which is how I was able to time this pre-fire perfectly. But long story short, we're going to skip most of this fight. This is the end of the fight, and look at my materials and my heals, and he just popped a slurp juice, so I'm like for sure dead here. That may have been the best max pump of my life, dude. <laughs> I got a free kill on a guy in a bush shortly after that, and then I rotated to this guy and I initiated a box fight. I feel like my box fights today were the main reason I was going on such a big win streak. I played this so well. I feel like from the start of the fight to the end of the fight, I had full control there. Now here's another little trick that I just started practicing recently. You guys remember how I told you about the ODM trick where you pull out your shotgun right as you hit the builds? Well, if you pull out your shotgun just a little bit before you hit the builds, instead of bouncing off them, you'll fly through them. Definitely a good thing to know. At this point in the game, how do I guarantee myself the win? I'll tell you. I waited until I had a free rotate because the guy above me had to rotate as well. And I used that time to get all the way up to high ground, the best positioning because they were both stuck on low ground here. Now I can just make their lives miserable from high ground while they struggle to get up this mountain.
super free win, and we went from 2,457th all the way up to 1900th. In the fourth game, I get a free quick kill off spawn, and then once again, I didn't fight too much in the early to mid game, mainly because I didn't find people, but also because later game kills are worth a lot more. That's when I run into this guy, and let me just tell you, I smoked this dude. I used the trick of shooting the wall before I get there. Turned out that wall was one shot, so I was just immediately able to get pressure on him. Now this game, because I was already on a three win streak, I wanted to keep it going and decided to play really safe. So I rotated all the way to the dead side of this zone here. I knew it was the dead side because just a second ago, this whole entire side of the map was in the storm. So nobody was over here. And I just start getting free kills because I'm in a good position. It's that simple when it comes to this part of the game. But now this is like the first real moving zone where we have more than two other players. It's nothing crazy, but I get a huge fry on this guy. And look at, I do the trick perfectly here. That was probably the first time I executed that to perfection. But this end game was kind of a joke. Like it died out super fast and it was just a 1v1 to end. And he should have had just full advantage over me. He had the better position and a health advantage. And then he just died to fall. Now this was the last game of the win streak. We got four in a row and went up how many places? Way over 2,000 places. It's crazy. I hope you guys learned something new and enjoyed this video. More content on the way, so stay tuned. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.